All right, welcome back to uh, welcome back to the Whoops Approach. My name is again Spaceman Spiff, and today I've built a few few devices. Unfortunately, this one is not working, and um, we'll, we'll go over this. Welcome to, back to uh, Medieval Engineers. Uh, I built a catapult and two different trebuchets. One extremely large one, one medium sized one, and later together we're going to build a small trebuchet. Um, that way I can kind of go over how it works with you guys. So, um, I just kind of wanted to, to show off, <laughs> really, and show you guys how how this worked. So, let's just go ahead and fire off a few rounds here. We're going to load it up with three shots. And let her fly at this wall over here. Well, let's kind of see. Let's see what kind of damage we got over here. So it, it didn't go very high, and it looks like it only chipped like two blocks. I mean, oh, there's the third one here. See if you guys can see. So there's the crack, there's the crack, and then this one, oh, no, oh. oh, right there, blind. So I also wanted to show you guys, you could also fire this a single, double, and with small. Unfortunately, this tension rope here gets a bit buggy, um, but that's, that's just part of it, so I've got it saved, so we can just come right back. So if that happens, I'll get, uh, come right back um, I also had an idea that I kind of because the weights here if you they're they're small enough that you might I don't want to do all that tension on there oh whoops <laughs> Kind of knocked one out. There we go. Well, let's let's see what this can do. I wanted to see if there's any. Oh, yep, there it goes. Yeah, you guys can see that. I'll just reset here in a second. But I kind of wanted to see. Did anybody see where this where this hit? And if it did any damage, we know all about that. Did anybody see? I don't think so. I was, I was, okay, so the, the reason I was doing that is because I was wondering if there were anybody out there who also wanted, like, a cluster shot, or, like, uh, also for the trebuchets, um, if there was a, if anybody wanted a cluster shot, like, instead of one, one there, like, maybe eight or nine of the small ones in a bag, and you have to weight it properly for it, and then launch around. And so there'd be like four or five small projectiles instead of one large projectile. Or um, even like flaming projectiles would be awesome as soon as you get the fire and water <coughs> in the game. Or even like hot oil for the rooftops you can pour on your enemies. But um, so we'll, we'll reset here in a second. Uh, yeah, I'll reset and then we'll take a look at these trebuchets after we take a couple more shots of this. So I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Um, so let's try uh, a few more shots with this. I'm gonna try a single shot and a double shot and see what kind of damage we, we get. Cause we saw it damage three blocks over there. So I, I kind of wanted to, cause I haven't really tested this out. I just wanted to make sure that it didn't break when I was using a large and small shot, or large and small, large and medium projectiles. I cannot talk today. Uh, this one on each side here. Everybody ready? Mm -hmm. Wonder if it did more damage where it landed than where it hit the the wall. Mm 
you, buddy? Yeah, it hit, <laughs> it hit over here, but I think it was going too slow by the time it showed up. But it damaged right there. If anybody can see, it's damaged right there. And right there. A bit, right, yeah. Hit. Okay, well, it did a little bit more than what I thought, but... <laughs> it didn't make it... Make any effect on the wall where it hit. So that's... I mean, that's no bueno. Maybe like a single large projectile. I mean, it's not like it's bad. If you could put this on wheels and roll it closer, I believe, I believe personally, it would, it would do a lot more damage. But, uh, can't really do that right now, seeing as it's pre, pre-alpha. So let's try this one more time. And go. That looks like it finally did something. Oh yeah, look at that hole. Let's get a closer look. Okay, yeah. So I mean, when I did my damage um, demo, I was I was really close when I was shooting it. So I'm not seeing what I expected because I I didn't take into account that it would be that far away and not this far away. I was shooting it for about this far away instead of way over here. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get the, the small shot or the medium projectile to affect this in any way. Oh wait. Oh, what am I doing connected to that? In the world did I touch that? Anyway, uh, let's bring this down. Actually, let's, because the weighted, the weights didn't go very far. So I'm, I'm afraid for these. Let's try there. If they do okay from here, I might take it back and put it all the way down. Ready? Oh, well, it broke again. I can't tell if it... Anybody see where it hit? Oh, that one's rolling off too, so that means it kind of came up here. I don't think we're seeing any damage. I kind of... Oh, well. I mean, it fell into it. Can't complain too much. That's pretty cool looking. I wish it got stuck in the wall like that. I was expecting more and for it not to break. Let me, let me reset one more time. I'm going to come... Reset. I'm going to draw both these back because y'all don't want to watch that. It takes a little bit to draw them back so they don't shake to death and fall apart. <sighs> it was just the way that's the way the game is right now. So um, I'm gonna draw both these back and I'll reset this and draw both these back and then we'll come back and I'll dry fire these and then reset it again and uh, we'll fire them. But I promise you, nine out of ten times it crashes the game when the ball is attached because as soon as it gets around, it gets to the point where it should be released. Um, the rake, the, <laughs> the oh goodness, <laughs> the rope does not let go. And it, it it swings around and crashes the game, and so uh, it's not it's not that bad. But uh, I was expecting. I think I've got like ten or eleven bug reports now. I've sent <laughs> sent to Keen Software House. So let's reset and take a look at that. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Uh, I've, I've got this these both set up now for a dry fire. I kind of want to show you. How they worked, but first I want to show you that they're both. Uh, I did not look up the name of for this design, but I believe it's just a regular trebuchet. It's not a fixed weight. It's got a, a joint here on both of them, as you can see the right there and right here. There's a joint here that swings the entire arm, and then a joint here to let the weight swing. Um, and I believe it's just because there's an extra motion or two in there as this, the weight swings down while the arm swings up. They give it that extra bit of power. So let's let's dry fire these and we'll we'll see what they look like. Let's give this one a, a go. See, I I feel like that would do all right um, when when the ropes attached to it, or when the, when we're gonna we're gonna fire these off again. But when when the projectile is actually attached to it, it it looks. To me personally, it looks like it's actually gonna go. 
So let's try let's try Big Bertha here. I'm gonna try Little John and Big Bertha. <clears throat> let's try Big Bertha out. Look at that. Oh, oh, it's so shaky sometimes. Oh, you guys have no idea how many different designs I went through to, to get that to work. So I, I just kind of wanted to show you guys the dry fire, uh, show you the motion that it goes through. So I'm gonna reset, um, bring them back down, and then we're gonna dry fire both, or we're actually gonna fire both of them. So give me a minute, I'll be right, be right back. <clears throat> All right, we're back again, and now we're set up to launch Little John here and Big Bertha. And I think we're gonna, I don't know what we're gonna name the trebuchet. I mean, oh goodness, I don't know what we're gonna, <laughs> gonna name the catapult. These are trebuchets, that's a catapult. All right, so let's let's fire off Little John and see what can. What kind of? Let's see if it crashes our, our game. Oh, oh no. Uh oh. Well, that's no boy now. We'll take a look at that here in a minute, and uh, let's fire Big Bertha first before we, we get into it. <clears throat> and that one broke too. I feel like something went terribly. Something has gone terribly wrong. Something has gone terribly wrong. I'm gonna reset and reshoot that. <laughs> all right, everybody. Now uh, <laughs> I've got it all set up and we're back. So let's get to fire in Little John, and then we'll see what Big Bertha can do. Hopefully, hopefully. I okay. I'm, I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen. It's gonna swing out. Hopefully that doesn't break on the way out. The ball because of the speed it's going and it's actually making contact with the rail and it's going to swing up and it's going to look like it's going to let go at a perfect point but the rope's not going to break and it's going to swing back around and hit my thing but the point I'm making this video is what it looks like right before it breaks <laughs> the, we're, we're looking at the way the counterweight works with the, with the swing arm and we're looking at how the projectile swings with the rope on the way, all the way rotation until the point where it's supposed to release. I don't know how they're how they're going to um, allow you to operate that release, or if it's like a a set thing with a, a certain amount of force that lets it go, or some. I don't know how they're going to do it, but it's going to be real, real interesting to see how they do it. Let's let's fire a little John before I ramble on for another few minutes. All right, let's go. Oh, <laughs> well, that's a design flaw, and I, th I think I need more weight. I haven't fired him too many times. Um, little John, we'll, we'll put you to the side for a minute. Let's see how Big Bertha runs. Uh, let's. Oh, I need to zoom out. Let's go. Okay. Well, again, the projectile broke on the on the way out, and sometimes this happens. I, I mean, it's only worked for me every every fourth or fifth try, and I don't want to film too much today. Um, <laughs> I just don't want to have a giant film reel of failures and one success. But you see the rotation it made, and if I mean fixing the projectile uh, delivery system is is simple. But getting the swing arm and the counterweight to work together correctly for the right motion, that's that's totally different. And I feel like I've done that. So I kind of wanted to show you guys the two trebuchets and the catapult I've designed. And I kind of want to give you guys a, a little bit of an idea of how I wanted to do a, a ballista. Now I've taken two catapult um, tension ropes and turn them on their sides and I was gonna bring them back but every here I'll, I'll show you what I, what I mean every time I bring this back uh, it just goes all wonky like it comes back but it doesn't come back far enough so we'll, we'll, we'll see what I can do to fix that uh, hopefully I can figure something out uh, to design that so um, thanks for watching. Uh, I appreciate your views. 
if you liked what you saw, um, hopefully you get some ideas on how you want to build your catapult or trebuchet. Um, I'm going to, in another video, I'm going to show you how to make a, a very small, one of the easiest, cheapest ones that you can build with the smallest amount of lumber and smallest amount of materials. So we're going to come back and we're going to build something here later. But that's for another video and another time. Thanks again for coming. If you like what you saw, hit that like and subscribe button. Come back for more. Have a great day. See you next time.